Welcome everyone to the Chaotic Multiverse. This the is our wrestling division, Havoc. Cole here with Corey Graves and Byron Saxton, ready to kick off the Carnage will be unleashed tonight. tonight. A lot no of debuts uh, as well in store for you. Well. Let's see who's up first. Hello, Darth. You are first. Indeed. Get this match started. The debut of Master Chief kicks off Havoc. Hello, Kiki. You're on the realm doing something. You still have creative, don't you? I think that doesn't change. Shit. This pen doesn't want to move. It's not blowing up the room. It's my house. Oh, you're blowing up your house? Okay. I'm kidding. I know what you mean. Audio sound good? I just want to test. Test. Oh, yeah, it sounds good. Never mind. Done did it. Master Chief finally stepping foot in the wrestling division of the CMV. We wish him well. Thanks, Kiki. We will do a couple bonus matches tonight because I configured to make sure everybody gets a match on both shows, Havoc and Carnage. Uh, we still have seven bonus matches after that. And mind you, this isn't all the calls. This is just the creative wrestlers most associated with us. Okay. So... The Seven bonus matches, and I'll split that up long. between Making Carnage and Havoc. Ring from Area 51, weighing in at 345 pounds, Masters C. There's plenty to love about this Close competitor, enough. but what really stands out to me is how they support their friends. They should know better than to waste their time building bridges and inroads backstage. Those are just more directions for your enemies to attack you from. Yeah, that's it. Spoken like someone who's truly paranoid. Ladies and gentlemen, Corey Graves. Master Chief. Looking to make an impact here in the wrestling division. Jump out of your seat in anticipation for this one. Yeah, it's either excitement or there's actually a good chance I ate too much Halloween candy. I can't tell. Hello, Amanda. Hello, Queen Scorpion. And his Humberto Carrillo. Taking on Master Chief here. Pounds. Humberto Carrillo. A lot of people have questioned just how far Humberto Carrillo can go, but he assured me that he is as confident as he has ever been. And of course, we're no, you didn't miss anything. Show just started. This is our first us. match. And I can see that so far, one stream. I didn't realize they made nerd Master costumes. Chief making his debut here in the CMV, the wrestling division at least. He's already been a well-esteemed member of the council for quite some time. Master Chief kicking off this week's Havoc. Imbato. Oh, never mind. Gets countered there by the Master Chief. Chief scooping up Carrillo for a Alabama slam into the cover. The Spartan Warrior. He needs a little more than that to end things this early. Yes. How how is everyone doing today, Darth Amanda? Carrillo is a tremendous athlete who can match up against Doing well. What does Carrillo have to focus on to add another one to the win column? Humberto Carrillo possesses quite the array of offense, but at times his precision with that offense misses the mark. If Carrillo can take his time and make his offense count, he should We get will be hand. running a couple bonus matches tonight. So between, I'll, I'll say it again because Amanda and Queen wasn't here, but I did configure Havoc and Carnage where everyone gets a match apiece to be able to showcase themselves. 
And with that in mind, between team nine matches on both shows, we still have seven bonus matches. And those bonus matches will be split up on Havoc and Carnage going forward. You're streaming AEW matches today, Amanda. Really? Actual streaming? I need to stream some AEW myself. Butto catches Master Chief. Oh, posting? Oh, okay. Recording and posting. Actually had me convinced you were streaming. But maybe someday. I know Queen Scorpion wants to stream someday. If and when she gets her Xbox. Be interesting to have another perspective for the CMV. And even a one count there. Oh, Master Chief, focus up. Oh, Chief gets caught. Oh, super kick there. Master Chief not doing so well right now. I only did two streams once on Twitch, but I would probably stream on YouTube since I'm not affiliate. Well... You, you get affiliate by streaming. We all start somewhere, Amanda. But it's up to you. Fun fact, I, I always wanted to stream on YouTube, primarily. But because Xbox doesn't give me the option to stream directly to YouTube, I had to make do with Twitch. But luckily, we're able to export export the uh, VODs over to YouTube. And as you all know, that's what I do. It's a journey. Humberto puts away Master Chief. This is not a good way to kick off Havoc. Here is your winner, Humberto Carrillo. A statement victory by this guy tonight. This really All you have to do is enable save your VODs and then um, link your YouTube to Twitch and you'll be able to export them. Coming up next is the debut of Saitama, the One Punch Man. It's just a... It's a setting on Twitch. I can take a screenshot of it. You don't see that option? That's weird. It might be on laptop only, yeah. Seems like a laptop feature. Everything's on the, the laptop or PC. Doink also making his debut here in the CMV. I think it is, yeah. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Chroma City. Weighing in at 209 pounds. Santana. So now you guys understand what was going on with the gifts over in the server between One Punch Man and Doink the Clown. I know you think that's a good thing. But this person could learn a thing or two about the value of running and hiding. Ah, uh, yes, the value of being a coward. The circus is in town. <laughs> A lot of weird, random stuff happens, to be completely fair. I don't even keep up with everything. Oh, 
because I'm always too busy focused on yeah, what's I next. Clouds, but Doink the Clown that usually means Chaos Doink turning his eyes away from the, the server the at times. Admittedly, it's the way it works. Thanks for the hydrate. Doink's pretty twisted. He likes to make kids cry. What kind of clown likes to make kids cry? Well, if it makes you feel any better, Sax, then Doink also enjoys making adults cry and weep at the suffering he is about to inflict on his opponent. Can't believe the great Spartan lost to Humberto, but it really just shows you the talent Humberto has. I usually come back to the server to see a million messages, especially in the wrestling. <laughs> exactly. And now Minecraft is popping off again. Ellie told me, like, damn, Minecraft got popular, huh? Yeah, it's good to see that, though. And here we have a superstar with For a the longest time. I mean, we hadn't touched Minecraft in a year, so it feels good to be back. I think that was the break that I needed just to step away for a bit, you know. Saitama, Saitama in control of Doink the Clown. Doink the Clown is actually a dangerous professional wrestler. But it should be interesting to see how these two clash. A one-punch anime. Uh, an anime man versus a clown. And there's the kick out. Getting that shoulder up seemed to be pretty easy. <laughs> Just busy. Did you ever watch back the um the show you missed, Amanda? It's about to get worse. Look at these knee strikes. We've all just been busy lately. And that's good. Keeps us focused. Doink the clown is not going to be a victim of the one punch man that's for sure it's busy 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 going oh, to clown looking to make a statement here at the expense of Saitama but Saitama Tama is fighting with everything he has. I don't even have enough time in my day. <laughs> yeah, felt that. Streams are going to be picking up a lot more too. Seems like Cloud is hungry again for streams. Everybody seems to have that Minecraft revive bug. We are now on the on the road to 300 chapters of Minecraft, or what I'm calling it, the Genesis Overworld. Thanks for the passive check. Imperium. Speaking of Imperium, we will see them on Carnage this week. Baron has decided to work closely with Imperium going forward. He's taken care. He has taken care of business with AJ Styles, and now he's moving onward. What emoji is that? Squeeze heart. Oh, that's cute. Saitama with the win puts away Doink the Clown. Where Master Chief failed, Saitama emerges victorious here. This was on havoc a win as I've ever seen guys never a doubt barely a moment's suspense this one was about as taking care as of business come. we have Goku over on mayhem we have Saitama over on havoc slash carnage clown did get cocky um if you check out the anime show called one punch man he's a very powerful metahuman literally Defeats an enemy with one punch. <laughs> Coming up next, Drew Gulak has called Barney a joke and he has no business stepping foot in a wrestling ring. Barney is off on another mission to show love to someone who desperately needs it. Yeah, one punch man. I was never a fan at the beginning of... One Punch Man, because I just thought it was a little lame how he's able to defeat anyone with one punch. But I gave the show a shot, and it's really not that bad. Ouch, Amanda. I'm sure that just makes Barney want to give you a hug. 
<laughs> Sorry for that creepy comment. I'd rather just not make it an idea for Barney to want to give me a hug, you know? I'm no longer 10. <laughs> Even Queen Scorpion. <laughs> the hate on Barney is real. The following yeah, it's just a product of an older time. Making his way to Imagine the Barney snaps. I York. mean, Drew Lady Gulak could be the man to do that. Oh, Darth mentioning the forbidden alt of Barney. He has a transformation, a different form that's more cursed, demented, dark, creepy pasta, dark web kind of shit. Luckily, we have not seen that transformation here in the CMV yet. But if Barney keeps getting his buttons pushed, you never know. Oh yeah, Baby Chaos loves Barney. Like I said, he was a product of an older time. But as you reach adulthood, hell, a teenager, it just doesn't hey, matter anymore. It's done. Those days are over. It's just the so overstuffed really tie, Beanie Baby. About a silly holiday like Halloween? That's creepy as hell, Darth. <laughs> Hug you one way or another. That's some serious great vibe. Zicky, Zicky Dice. Yeah, is he live? We should raid him after this. Oh, yes. If he is live. Good luck. The North American Pennsylvania, champion Pennsylvania, over here in the CMV. In 193 pounds. The NXT North American champion. By the way. Um, Havoc Gulak. is in the spot of NXT, yeah, so it's interesting to see Drew, Drew Gulak here in the CMV. Smash mouth brawler with technical brilliance. Well, hopefully Dice is live the near the end Once. of this show. Hey, got me too. We'll, well definitely raid out to him. No He's a cool dude. He's suave. Now I can't get Jurassic Express to win a tag team match now. Damn. I feel like the AI in these games knows exactly what's happening in real life. Moxley finally won? Hell yeah. And the bunny too? The bunny's been losing? Shit. I have a few videos to catch up on with yours. Barney knocks Drew to the mat. There's nothing you could throw at this competitor that could phase him in the slightest. He'll be looking to utilize that toss in this matchup. You guys have to understand why I want to make sure every every one of the calls gets a match, though. Because if this is indeed the last year where matches are laggy in 2024, we have to figure something out. I was discussing with Queen earlier that it may be prudent to move the council that's on 22 over to 23, which means some serious deletion might be taking place. But it's something that we need to discuss. Let's just all take a moment to truly appreciate Harder to get Queen and, and the others over. Presence. The inner circle, Jericho and Sammy kept losing, but I got Drew them one win. So now I'm trying to get one for Jurassic Express with some far no luck. Damn. I, I feel like the AI in these games is kind of like chat GPT reading off the internet and just knowing what's happening. Hardy's finally won? Nice. I know, they've been losing in mind too. It pisses me off. Vicious. The Attitude Era Chaos is not happy. <laughs> of course, the Attitude Era Chaos is never happy these days. Slam! He's heading up top, thinking big. Yeah. They know your vibe. What a diving elbow there from Barney. Say what you will about him. He may not belong here in this environment, but he is beating up Drew Gulak and he is a wrestler who belongs in this environment the strength of Barney the dinosaur uh, heel hook. look at this oh, that's so painful he's gonna squeeze the life out of his Hard opponent quite literally through. he will hug you Gulak sidesteps European uppercut the suppressed Shari. anger over the, over the years finally releasing perhaps 
Yeah, it does look like a better call than Sonic, but I love Sonic. I have such a sentimental vibe towards Sonic. I know the creator did what he could for Sonic. Glamour only goes so far, but it's the it's the it's the head. It's always the head. It did not come out through the transference. And yes, that's official lore canon. Transference, glamour, whatever you need to use to excuse the, uh, the very different look for Sonic. He's risking permanent damage. Look at this, he let it go. But Barney Shoot looks great here. There, for sure. Curious George looks really good, and we'll be seeing him next. He'll be taking on Jinder Mahal, another man who is targeting these childhood characters. Through Gulak trying to target Barney, take him out. Jinder Mahal targeting Curious George. That's our next match. Drew Gulak puts away Barney. He does exactly what he said he was going to do. Jordan just doesn't want to fight them. I don't blame him. I don't want to fight them either. They're childhood icons. Like, I, I got better business to take care of. Like Kenny Omega this Saturday. Drew Gulak did exactly what he said he was going to do. He put away Barney. He thought he was going to win this match. Oh, I and Barney is looking disappointed here, folks. But it is what it is. Like when the children grow up and leave them. Barney looks very angry now. Perhaps we'll be seeing the cursed dark web version of Barney next week. Curious George versus Jinder Mahal. That's next. Maybe that loss was the tip over the edge for Barney. Who knows? I don't want to manifest anything, but maybe it's not. Just don't blame me if something happens next week, okay? Just Barney did not look happy and he's been on a he's been on a slippery slope for years now. I wonder what Gex, if Gex has a call in the CC. Hmm. We should give Gex a call. See see what do. <laughs> like Kermit. <laughs> Kermit's another story. He's a little bit of a drunk. Curious George always just super wholesome. I talked to him a little bit backstage today. He was very excited for this match and to prove otherwise to Jinder Mahal and anyone else who may be doubting him. We want Mario, Mario, Mario. And you never know when he'll be popping up. Byron, I gotta say, you seem like you're ready to jump out of your seat in anticipation for this one. Yeah, it's either excitement or there's actually a good chance I ate too much Halloween candy. I can't tell. I'm gonna keep chanting Mario until he finally appears. The modern day Maharaja. <laughs> That's fair enough. The modern day Maharaja. His opponent from Punjab, He's India, tired of this childish shit. Pounds. He is targeting Curious George. Will he be successful like the Drew Gulak was Maharaja. against Barney? Former Keep chanting Mario, Amanda. You never know. Never tonight. know. Just look at his body. Well, no one will Maybe ever that's enough to signal him over here. Popular superstar in WWE, but indeed his work ethic and accomplishments have been exceptional. Byron, there are 1.3 billion people in India who worship the ground that Mahal walks on. The 
this superstar is coming in with a lot of enthusiasm and energy right now. But what's going to happen when the excitement wears off and he comes to realize he's in a fight against someone looking Here is George, neckbreaker. He's in control, in working fast and against the modern-day Maharaja. A man who is Here's the early cover. Not gonna take those insults lightly. Curious George is here to fight, make an impact here in the CMV, represent himself nicely. I saw Clifford backstage too, but I don't think he's gonna be wrestling. I'm kind of just waiting for Buzz Lightyear and Woody to show up at this point. What's bullshit is FTR are not a team in the game, so I had to create their entrance. What the fuck? Oh, I, I tell you, as wow, I have no words. They're the greatest tag team. <laughs> they have such a vibe to them. I feel like the old 80s with the with FTR. It helped when Tully Blanchard was their manager too. FTR, the tag team to beat for sure in any promotion. He didn't have the Jurassic Express entrance either. Uh -oh. Moonsault! Beautiful delivery there by Curious George into the cover. Oh, a kick out at two and a half. Jinder Mahal showing his resiliency. I know you want to see Celine. I want to see Celine too. And there's a lot of people I want to see. Look at the look on his opponent's face, Cole. He can't believe it. I, I'm, guys, I'm just hoping, I'm hoping that 2K22 is still streamable in the new year. No lag in the matches. I'm hoping that 2K24 releases on X-Bone. If all these work out, 2K22 and 2K24, we'll be having like four shows, maybe even five. That gives us a lot of roster space, so bear with us. I want everybody to, but I'm not deleting certain people. Oh, I'm sure he wants to wrestle her too. Curious George with the win. I don't know why the fans are booing Curious George. These people got issues. Here is your winner, George. Curious George, so wholesome, so happy. The perfect match, never any doubt in this win. As always, Cole, you're more polite than I am, so I'll just say what we're all thinking. This was as one-sided as it gets. Curious George got justice for Master Chief and Barney. <laughs> That's for sure. Rather wrestle with your wife, Serana. That's fair enough. I don't know why I read that out loud. Coming up next, the debut. I won't say it until the match shows. He's not creepy yet. Kate Denson has arrived here in the CMV Wrestling Div Division, being flanked by Alice. Because it's NSFW. <laughs> yes. That is true. Now, Casey Catanazaro actually has a pinfall victory over Queen Scorpion. So, I wonder how she will fare against Kate Denson. Shut the fuck up, Darth. Be nice. And she has the tattoos on her arm, okay? <laughs> Most of the calls for Kate don't have the freaking tattoo. Casey over Katana? Yeah. Um, which game? 23, Darth? Oh, okay. That makes sense, because on 22, I only see two options. 23. <laughs> Better 
Better get ready. Yeah, on a different game. Better, just better overall. But 2K22 still stands up. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making her way Not the to curtain the call as her Twitter handle. Alice. From Nashville, Tennessee, Caitlin Dennis. The WWE Universe more than ready to see this one start. This is going to be good. I'll have to check out Kate over on 23, but then it goes back to who to delete. Out of your seat in anticipation for this one. Yeah, it's either excitement or there's Um, I'm asking for I can't tell. this Saturday one last hurrah with couple with a few calls and then I'm going to talk to my inner council over here then we're going to figure stuff out this Saturday will be the the old version of Darth and Serana their their last appearance just just give me this Saturday then I'll have everything fixed I just had to let you know this before I forget. You know what she lacks in size, she makes up for in spirit. Casey Catanzaro, a woman capable of absolutely mind-blowing athletic feats. Casey will wow you, she'll amaze you, and she'll take your breath away. Whoa there, Byron. You know what you're explaining? Casey will wow you. She will take your breath away. You need to relax, guy. I was being a little shit show off. Where? What, in Minecraft? In the realm? Uh-oh. Something is posted there. Oh, all you said was ye. <laughs> to Ellie. I thought you posted something. There's the bell, and we're looking at a superstar who many have considered to be a natural. Casey is hungry. I have a feeling she's going to make a statement here in the CMV, but I just hope not at Kate's expense. Oof. When I said my Kate was better than, yeah, you were definitely measuring. But it's fine, because I showed off the fact that I have Maria who silent help. Oh, what a miscalculation there by Casey. Kate's now picking apart. The leftovers. Casey, quick on. Oh, never mind. Kate. Hot Casey. Wrong choice by Casey. Now she's paying for it. I'm just happy I have Kate. You know what I mean? Like she's not just in DVD. Like unfortunately, Ghostface is only in DVD. You know. We love a little friendly competition here. What I really want is Daryl. But I just don't know how to make space for him. I was hoping I could get Daryl in Fortnite, but he never came back to the shop, even with the new series out. So I don't know what to do with Daryl. I guess I have to find room for him. Because at least Ghostface will appear in DVD. Along with, like, you know, Bubba and the pig. Wesker. That is tossing your own body around without a care. Taking no account for their own. Oh, no, there this is a Kate Denson's first ever wrestling match, at least over here, from my perspective. At least on CMV TV. Better find a way out. CMV TV. Does anybody like that? Should I run with that more? CMV TV. Well, the referee is going to be at 7 soon. For these two, I guess this match has gotten personal. Like I said, Casey is just hungry. She is so willing to make an, a statement here. And it looks like Casey's speed was well maintained there. Anyway. 
I might want to watch what I missed on Ryan's show. He's got some amazing AEW calls. His show looked good. Yeah, I need to catch up on his content too. I did give him my I, uh, my ideas for the future. So you never know what Ryan may have in mind for the CMV. He had an awesome Wardlow and Jake Hager. Oh, damn. I miss Jake Hager. I wish he was an AEW. Maybe down the road. Oh, what the heck was that there by Kate? It was so quick. Kate Denson going to the top turnbuckle. I don't know what she has in mind here. Oh, my goodness. That moonsault countered by Casey. Now Casey with a code breaker. More DLCs, please, yes. Kate kicks out just barely. Oh, Kate is in trouble here. Okay, Darth, I get it. This Kate has the pigtails. I know, but it's not a competition. The saddest thing is the Hardys are not a team in the game either. What the heck is wrong with the AEW game, though? As good as it is, there are some faults to it, like no tag team. Like, the tag team should already be set up. Kate trying to build back that momentum. You think so, Cole? She gets the shoulder. Nope. I wanted it to be true for Kate, but unfortunately, Casey has too much fight in her. No trios. That's lame. Come on, Kate, stop taunting. Taunt Casey. Oh, Casey countered. Hey, Ryan. Welcome. Oh, man, this is not looking good for Kate. She's got it. Not looking good for Kate. The hunger Kick Casey has. Kate I kicked out. There's your chance. Right, she nailed it. Into the cover. Go for it. And that's enough. And they don't have six man matches or fatal four tag matches. The game is limited, but I'm hoping updates happen. What a battle. Respect to both competitors. Casey is the toughest warrior. She was defeated by Kate, though, with a momentary a distraction. Long. That was all she needed long. for Kate to get the victory. Maybe you should have taken a page out of that. Hey, Ryan, you arrive story. exactly when you, when you need to, when you can, you Great know. There's no late in the CMV. The fact that you're here means everything. Because they're, well... You don't have to be here, you know. You can choose to be anywhere else, but you chose here. Doesn't matter when you arrive. We're just grateful that you arrived. Coming up next. Hope we get some great updates and match upgrades too. I don't know. I'm hoping for, like, if this is f supposed to be the forever game. Like, it's supposed to last. Like, they're not going to make AEW 2K25, you know? You know what I mean. Like, this is the game. Update it. Upgrade it. Add new stuff. Give us more wrestlers. Give us Sabu and Rob Van Dam and Jake Hager, you know? Adam Copeland. Yeah, you're at least trying to be here. Like I said, there are people who just can't be here, which, you know, is understandable because of work, school, etc. And then there were those who just didn't give a shit at all, but kept gaslighting me that they wanted to be here. And not just for the wrestling, but for the entirety of the CMV. But I digress. Kalisto versus Liv Morgan. get this match started. Yeah, we know who those people are. 
But they are like they who shall not be named. Kind of like Voldemort. So you can kind of include that in the lore just a little bit. You, I thought you already are part of the CMV, Ryan. You're here with us. And you hang out with us a lot more. And participate a lot more than some of the other fly-by nights. That step foot wanting to join the CMV. After only watching for one day. It's like what Queen said, if you're going to be a part of it, be a part of it, you know, as often as you can be. We all have life. We get it, you know. But it, we see who's hungry and who's not, you know. Why does everybody want to freaking flex with me with I have the better call? What is this shit? I, didn't realize they made nerd I know you're not trying to flex, but that comment really made me feel like I just got elbowed to the chest. Not my two best friends <laughs> going after me here. I need Cloud. We're going to have to here make this a tag team match. I'm <laughs> kidding. No, no, it, I'm just joking with you, Amanda. And from Elmwood Park, New Jersey, Liv Morgan. And of course, Darth with that typical smirk of good emote. Ever come out of the state of New Jersey. Jersey tough. Ryan no is going to join that. my tag. He steps up Successful when Cloud fails. <laughs> I'm so insulted. I'm joking, by the way. I don't care. Listen, I got the Gabrielle call. Um, that was like the only call that was available in the CC at the time. But I'm glad someone else actually made a better Gabrielle. It, it's very cool. Because I felt like I was old enough where I only I remembered Xena and Gabby. But it's good to see other people knowing what it is. Amanda versus Chaos. That would be a clash for sure. Vayne, you can use the Unknown Network. Liv has every tool she needs to be a top Cross over that way. And with every match, about the only way, since we can't have intergender matches like that. I completely agree with that That's why the older way. games were better. I mean, it kind of seemed like overkill to have Brock Lesnar fight Stacey Keebler, but... I mean, at least you had equality. Just rake in the face! Oh, look at this claw in the face! Or even Snap Chaos versus Snap Amanda. Fully enraged. Thanks for the lurk, Queen. Yeah, the older games where the men and women can fight each other. And the AEW game, yeah, the AEW game brings that back into the fold. Because by Jukes THQ. The moment you lose focus and stop taking her seriously, I don't know. When it comes to the AEW focus. streams, I don't think we're going to be focusing on created wrestlers. We're just going to focus on the talent that's there. You know, have those matches with Adam Cole and Andrade and. Oh, are you kidding me? I do have an unknown character there on AEW. Oh it's kind of like the forgotten lost brother of the clan. It's the it's the helm that the other members don't talk about. What a kick there by Liv Morgan. But yeah, there is an unknown clan member on AEW. It's just he's the forgotten lost brother slash sister. Of the clan. The forbidden member, you could say. Gets a hand out of the rope. That's quick thinking at its finest. Yeah, that's the thing about the AEW game too, is kind of brought it back to your creative characters are jobbers until you until you actually play through them. Yeah, I'm sorry I was sleeping, Ryan. 
I have I've only been awake for like an hour and a half. Kalisto with the win over Liv Morgan. Here is your winner, Kelly Lisa. At least you export your um your stream so I'll be able to watch it later. This is what the show looked good. I want to watch more. Yeah, Amanda, real busy. And so am I. I think we're going to be streaming more Minecraft later tonight. Or DVD. The Rift has closed, I think, so that's out. But the grind to Eerie 1 continues. Congrats, Kalisto, for the win. I honestly thought Liv Morgan could have been able to pull it off. And look at this. Mario has arrived in the CMV, folks. I really hope something bad doesn't happen from those. Well, the good thing about Minecraft, it is cross-play, so you'd be able to join us over on PlayStation. Same with you, Amanda. Been trying to get Anne to join, but they don't like Minecraft, which is understandable. I respect it. But there's more than enough good people over in the CMV that's more than willing to help her. Mario has arrived. How was the travel, sir? Let's get into it. Mario. In the future? Sure. I just feel like Minecraft is the best game. Open world survival. Free creativity. Build a kingdom, a castle, whatever. You know, open world. And the fact that it's cross-platform, so... It doesn't matter where you're from. PC, Xbox, PlayStation, and You know, it doesn't matter. You can join, you know. Hell, even mobile gamers can join. It's the perfect game for the Nexus Point. Mario, of course, is the kingpin of Nintendo. I'm actually afraid to even mention that. From Brooklyn, New York, weighing in at 250 pounds, Marco. This superstar has no close enough. No stress relievers, nothing outside of WWE. That is the secret to their success and the adoration from the WWE universe. No, it's a me, uh, Mario. The WWE universe realizes how one dimensional this dud right here is. I'm such a pessimist. Marco. <laughs> they do what they can. He's trying. <laughs> This NPC is limited by the code. <laughs> Mario looks happy. Here he comes the high flyer of Legado del Fantasma. And his opponent representing Legado del Fantasma from Chicago, Illinois. Weighing in at 100. I figured you're not. Mario's an OG. Well, he nearly For sure, one of the oldest. Match in Mexico. Wild was able to fight back from that injury to become an NXT superstar. I remember those early days at the sleepover at my friend's house. We would play Super Mario Brothers. And of course, quick thank you, the OG. For spending part of your Halloween with us. And I can see that a lot of memories with Mario. I didn't realize they made nerd costumes. We had great times back in the day. Good to see him again. Now we need Princess Peach. Oh, you're good. A superstar that has all the tools to be one of the biggest names. Personally, I would like Link. I'm not ready to crown him as the next big thing just yet, but his performance in this match could sway me. You're not the only person. You never know what's in the pipeline. 2K24. As long as it releases on Expo, you know, you know we're gonna get it. So. I'm really hoping that it releases on Xbox. The Xbox, the Xbox One is not done yet. So. 
and the rest of Legato del Fantasma Knock on wood. Let's hope that that remains for the time being. Here's the cover. He's able to kick out before two. Joaquin Wilde will not be deterred by Mario's debut here in CMV. Really just laying it in. Mario reverse suplex. Side set on the top rope. Yeah, I hope it stays on the previous generation for sure, Amanda. Oh man, big time. I just can't afford the upgrade. Look at this heel hook. This is how you punish your opponent, and he's enjoyed every minute of it. I'm glad that the debut happened today too. I didn't even reveal this show's card at all. I just I specifically made it unknown. <laughs> unknown. Nice reversal there by Mario. Good neck breaker there. Mario goes to the top turnbuckle again. Oh my goodness! That was enough. Absolutely. Mario with the win. Oh, I'm glad, Amanda. Fucking Wild gonna show respect to Mario. Yeah, that's a great show of respect. Tremendous sportsmanship. Gotta love it. Coming up next, our co-main event. one-on-one -on -one action between Manspike and Ace Austin. <laughs> the big head. This match is going to be too sweet. I don't know. I'm still hoping Man Spike wins. I have to be biased here. I like the Bullet Club, but I'm always for my people. The line is always interesting. You have your favorites, you have your friends, then you have your closer friends, you know. Well, you can always throw Kenny Omega against a creative character. He'll definitely win then. 
John Moxley beat Kenny Omega to get his first and only win. Good Lord. I guess I could make one or two jobbers on AEW. <laughs> to kind of maybe raise the win record for the quote-unquote elite. Well, I, I don't mean Jordan and Tyler. I mean, like, just creating a wrestler that's meant to be enhancement talent. Like, don't put any effort in making them just do whatever. Give them, like, a generic name, like Tom Bradley or whatever. Yeah, just give, like, create one or two enhancement talent and have them go against John Moxley and stuff. I That's the only way I can think of to increase their win ratio. I, I got a feeling you put Mox or Kenny Omega against, like, even Riho. Riho. Nothing against Riho at all. But she'd probably even beat them. Yeah, use Brady. Yeah. It's perfect. Bradley. Oh. Brady. Byron, I gotta say, you seem like you're ready to jump out of your seat in anticipation for this one. Yeah, it's either excitement or there's actually a good chance I ate too much Halloween candy. I can't tell. You're looking at a well-traveled superstar who has seen a lot in the ring. With experience comes confidence. And Bullet Club is here to make a statement in the CMV. Unfortunately, at the expense of the council here. But Man Spike is going to do what he can to prevent that from happening. See how things go here. Oh, Ace Austin caught Man Spike. Start counting, Saxton. One, two. All that three. blood rushing to the head of Ace Austin. For the delivery. Here's the drop down. He had it scouted. Ooh, Ace Austin. Oh, look at this. Inverted scoop slam. He's taken is starting to pile up. He saw that one coming. Uh-oh. Look at this. Uh-oh is right. Fallway slam. Man Spike on a mission of retribution tonight. Torture rack applied. This could be it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, make a woman job or two. Why not? And Spike has to win this. Subtle business for the council. Boom, what a punch. He is efficient and dangerous with his offense thus far. Just an on rush of offense here. And Spike doesn't care where Ace Austin comes from, his history. And Spike is fighting for his own here. He's Austin fighting for his own. To stay within the CMV. Oh. Head scissors DDT. Yeah, you did make them look pretty good in the AEW game. Shoulders down. And a shoulder in the air. He could make much of that pin attempt. Thanks for the lurk, Ryan. Huge boot. He's getting a little batter now. Was ready for that. German suplex. But that's not all. He can do it here. Report Larry into the cover. All right, Ryan. And that buys Man Spike the victory here. He picks up the victory. Ripcord Lariat delivered with enough force to knock out Ace Austin. An important win for him in this one. 
Yeah, it was an important win for sure. That can catapult you to bigger and better things. Coming up next, tag team match. Women's tag team champion, the reigning tag team champions. They've been holding the titles for almost 500 days. Tiger and Princess taking on Xena and Gabrielle. This is going to be a great res uh, respect match for sure. Very nice. The job is never done. You know what? I may add a one minute. Uh, I may run an ad one minute just to keep pre roll off as this match is loading in. That's right, you are subbed. And of course, Let's as the here. ad runs, the game is ready. The following contest is scheduled for one fall on the way to the ring. The NXT Women's Tag Team Champions, the Alliance. If you looked up tag team wrestling in I the forget dictionary, everything. these two would be the definition. The reigning Absolute masters women the tag, tag team, team champions, class. Tiger and Princess. And of course, quick thank you to everybody watching tonight for spending part of your Halloween with us. And I can see that Saxton got dressed up for the occasion. I didn't realize they made nerd costumes. Look you see how the <laughs> you see how far ahead we are in October, opponents, despite us just starting the October. WWE They're already Universe talking about Halloween. Reaching a fever pitch upon their arrival, and we are just seconds away from a highly anticipated match. Byron, I gotta say, you seem like you're ready to jump out of your seat in anticipation for this one. Yeah, it's either excitement or there's actually a good chance I ate too much Halloween candy. I can't tell. It's literally October 3rd. You're, you're already eating Halloween candy.
The WWE Tag Team Division is more competitive than ever. As these two teams get into it, I can almost guarantee this match will be one to remember. The I know. The I'm, that's how far it is in the, the in the map for a 2K. My goodness, did you hear that shot? That's why I thought maybe I should take a week or two off to kind of synchronize everything, but I don't think it really matters at this point. Oh, look at this. Out to the apron. Oh, my goodness. Are you kidding me? Besides, every night is Halloween for me. Going up high with the punch. Whoa, half and half suplex there by Gabrielle. Stomping down. Shotzi should have more matches in the Halloween month in the CMV. Yeah, I was thinking about booking her. She could face Kalisto next. That could be her next opponent for next week. I actually like that plan. Right We're gonna run it. Go behind. Oh, and suplex. She's a scream queen. Breaker. Gets the tag. Kick to the midsection. Sunset flip. Wow. In the cover. She kicks out at one. Yeah, she probably knew that coming. Right, that's, that's booked for next week, actually. Shotzi versus now Kalisto. Near fall there for Tiger. She's still as determined as ever. Cloudy joined the round? No fucking way. He joined the round without me? How dare. How dare he join the round without Chaos Knight and not even check into the stream? How dare. I'm kidding. I don't care. <laughs> I think we're probably going to end up streaming Minecraft after this. Shit. There's no rest for me. Cloudy, Cloudy almost invoked the chaos, but then I, I faked it out like it didn't happen. I don't like when Bruce Banner pretended he was gonna Hulk out. Don't you dare! That's an insult. How dare you? How dare you invoke my rage, my wrath? But Cloud's gonna go for the secret chest. Ouch, Cotter. Ooh, chopping down the opposition. I really do have a split personality, Ryan. I can go back and forth. She's enduring some damage. Make it seem really bad and then Here we go. Nah, it's fine. Fucking dare you! Sorry. <clears throat> Got the leg and drops the elbow. Ooh, Tiger there with the save. Overhand light lands. Ooh, Xena, hungry. She would love to become women's tag team champion with Gabrielle. I'm surprised it hasn't happened yet. But Tiger and Princess are gatekeepers of this title. Same thing with Terry, the Worldwide Wrestling Championship, the gatekeeper of that title. Xena with the guillotine headlock sleeper. Looks like she has other plans here. I think she was just looking to soften her up a little there. Just breaking down the opponent. How dare. How dare. Oh, Tiger still wants a rematch for that title. Oh, no, 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 no. Yes. Yeah, Tyler holding a lot of championships. He's doing good. He actually has more championships than, than uh, Terry at the moment. Terry only has one. But, I mean, he's been so dominant with that title. Cena and Gabrielle with the victory. 
Tiger once again just watched it happen. Seems like they like doing that a lot. But when it comes to the the ultimate test championship on the line, Tiger and Princess always survives. This was non-title. But now it will be for the title next week. Alright, let's run a few bonus matches. They should at least get a championship match now, for sure. They will. That's next week. As you say that, I said that. I love the delay on streams. Alright. One. Uh, where was I going? Oh yeah. Hold up. Puerto Barrett versus Minoru Suzuki. We're gonna head on over to CMV. Queen Scorpion will have the night, the week off this trip. She requested it. Why do you miss 2K22? It's not gone. I get you, though. I just hope I'm still able to stream it in the new year. That's all. Gonna be a smart ass to cloud. I have to give him shit. I have to. We wouldn't be good friends if we didn't give each other shit. No harm intended. No need to be sensitive over a smart ass remark. Yeah, I used to have it, but this bro Oh, damn. I'm sorry, Ryan. So that's what happened. I'm used to digital because I have the, the DS, not the X. So I run digital. I'm sorry. that That's rough. This reminds me of those PS2 days when I had disc reading troubles. <laughs> they were a nightmare. My PS2 held up for a long time, too. It held up for a good while. About 10, 15 years. I miss my old wrestling games and the other games I had on it. My memory cards. Oh, the memory contest. cards. We had so many it's memory cards for all the wrestling games back Making then. So many people. Ring, from Carson City, Nevada. Weighing in at 252 pounds. The superstar. The wrestler's wrestler. Entrance. I heard this one backstage talking up their own work nonstop. Well, why don't they get in the ring? <laughs> of course, and Cloud didn't even uh, notice I was insulting right now, him. Well, <laughs> good. It's funny. Let's see what they've got then. Of course, as expected, to be honest. We all know how Cloud is. I have a PS3, but I can't even eject any disc, so all my discs I have are just kind of hanging out. I bought The Last of Us digitally on it, though, and I played it. And I have Wars, uh, not Warzone. A competitor with um, the I forgot which Call of Duty, but I got one of the Call of Duties. And I have Sims on that one as well. I wish I still had my Marvel Ultimate Alliance game. I had that on PS2 and it was so fun. It's the best Marvel game. Ultimate Alliance was the shit. I 
We have Fall Guys too. It is cross play. And his opponent so is Japan, Party Animals. At, that at game kills me. Pounds, Suzuki, Morocco. So Every time I play Party Animals, I end up wheezing and dying of laughter. Ultimate Alliance is the best game, or Marvel. There are other good games, but I still the think Ultimate Alliance is the ultimate game. He wants to show the world that he can I think the on second one was level. good, but it didn't really capture what the first one felt. The first one, like, covered every aspect of the Marvel Universe. Like, space and, and realms and just everything. It, it captured everything. And here we have a superstar with a big chip on his shoulder. He has certainly felt over... Berto Barrett versus well, Minoru Suzuki. This is a match I've been up. wanting to see but for some time. It's a match Alberto wanted for some time. Minoru is hungry. To getting this fight started. He is well taking it to Alberto Barrett. More than a one count by now. Oh yeah, hell, that was a good... That was a good um, chapter. for how much longer? Just dealing with one place to the next. Circus was fun. Arcade's Murder Murder World, I think, was also in it, if I remember correctly. It just had everything. It had every aspect of Marvel. It's the best game. I should watch gameplay of it on, on YouTube just to kind of remind me. Remind myself. The circus? Oh yeah, the Murder World arcade. Somehow, I thought that was it. Oh, Look at that fisherman suplex. He's certainly looking in command at the moment. Noru just the gets back up like nothing. Point. Eats punishment for Thomas breakfast. To be in right now. Same with Alberto. Both are tough pound for pound wrestlers. The Shi'ar uh, was also fun. He's showing it's not time for lying down. It's time for fighting back. I think I had all the characters on once. Double underhook applied. I like playing Blade and Deadpool. Those were fun. Look at this. Pendulum backbreaker. Tick tock. Seeing the X-Men get their asses kicked was wild. He's lining him up. Get out of the way, ref. You're sandbagging Alberto. Let him cook. Oh, damn. Oh, just gouging the face. Face gouge. Oh, God. I'm being brought back just thinking about it. I wish I could play that game again. I checked the Xbox store. You can't get it. It's delisted. It sucks. Same with Left 4 Dead. That's another game I would have liked to have been able to get. Real quick on that exchange. Small package driver. Lucky. Another flex. Alberto with the win. What an emphatic victory, guys. No contest. Ryan has Fortnite. Nice. You can join us. I'm usually in what squads with roll. Darth, Cloud, Ann, and Funky. Those are my team. I feel like I need to check out the second one again. That was a good match. Like I said, Queen Scorpion is not here in Colorado Springs, but Baron is. And he will be accompanying Imperium to their match. So Barthol.
no, not Walter. What the heck? You know, I can't. Sorry, Alexander Wolf, but you're out. Baron is in. <laughs> Alexander Wolf gets cocked. Baron, the liaison. Baron's here in spirit. He's at work, though. In in reality. Yeah, this is his work. He's here. Baron is a busy guy. He's the busiest of us all. One day Jordan will go toe to toe with Walter when the time is right. Should be a great match for sure. Baron completed his work with AJ Styles and now he's focused on Imperium. Imperium, of course, our allies as a council. Thanks for the hydrate, Ryan. We definitely will get some Fortnite games at some point. Baron watching the squad from behind. He has everyone's back. The following contest is scheduled for one fall on the way to the ring. At a combined weight of 440 pounds, oh. the NXT. Oh, and thanks for the pause check. I actually, I actually did it <laughs> already. Duo that has showcased the very best in tag team wrestling tonight. Looking to be another one for the highlight reel. Oh, ring general. Gunther. Gunther slash Walter. And yeah, that was greatly timed. Perfect. 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 <laughs> Actually, on Raw, when Imperium walked out, I um, did the the stance with them because we are allies. So it made sense for me to accompany them to their match on Raw. Gunther was successful in his title defense. May not have been fair for what's his face, Tommaso Ciampa. But he's just gonna have to deal with it. Gunther's on a different level. Welcome to Must Same thing with Dirty Dom. He's gonna retain the North American Championship today. He's gonna show why Trick Williams' championship and win was a fluke at no mercy. Of 391 pounds, Trent Seven and Tyler Bate, Mustache Mountain. Despite facial hair, they're very tough competitors. You know, they utilize British strong style wrestling. DIY is back in business, Japanese too. I, I've been wondering where Johnny Gargano was. I was concerned for him. To watch. Very unique offense, extremely difficult to prepare for. I was like a girl mustache. I think you should focus on the like, Where is Gargano? Where is Johnny wrestling? He is the universe, uh, not the universe, fuck. He's the United States champion over here on 2K22. You know, some people would say, no, I won't, but some people would say that they may be the best tag team out of the UK since the British Bulldogs. Gargano, one of my favorites. These guys hail He's from great. Mustache Mountain. Does that make you from Peach Fuzz Peak, Saxton? That's not funny.
in this tag team competition, we're going to see Fabian Eichner and Marcel Martel. And across the ring, we see Trent. He's got the shoulders down. And that was only a one. Still early goings here for these men. Slam with authority. Uh-oh. Ooh, that might have just broken something. Well-placed kick. On Fabian Eichner, Giovanni Vinci. Represent. And set right into the corner. Eichner's attack gets reversed. Beautiful reversal there. Maybe an Eichner knows how to get it done in the ring. The mat is sacred after all. Take care of business for the council. Yes, sir. Sell Barcel. Dragon screw. Focused on Tyler Bate. All the way to the floor. Trent Seven going after Walter. And now this match is broken up into complete anarchy. Carnage unleashed. Ludwig Kaiser. Giovanni Vinci. And the ring general. The Intercontinental Champion. Gunther. Imperial. Sell Barthol, Luther Kaiser, Giovanni Vinci, well, Fabian Eichner, really Gunther Walter. These are gonna get confusing in a minute. Walter, you can't lay your hands on Trent Seven. And the ring gunner knows it. Trent Seven mocking Walter. The name changes for real. Trent Seven finally gets back into the ring. Imperium would have had a count out victory. Shoulders are down. Gets the shoulder up. Wow. What's it going to take? Frankly, he should have known that wasn't enough. Slam with authority. That gets reversed on seven. Punch right in the head. Come on, Ludwig. Lighten up the chest and now. Yeah, he almost got him counted out there. Trent Seven needs to be careful. Not the way you want to debut here in the CMV, sir. Facing against the best. Imperium. Members of the council. If you're not with us, you're against us. Baron scouting the talent. Baron kind of like a leather, in my opinion. I mean, they're two different people, Leather and Baron, but Baron's kind of like a like another Leather authority figure, you know? Maybe if I want to just stream some fuck off matches, I love how that I love how you called that what that fuck off match. Yeah, I mean, all you gotta do is stream. It, it's it's a journey, and the only way to get affiliate is to keep streaming, stream. Keep pushing it. Stream when no one's there. Don't be, don't be down. I streamed a lot of times with nobody in my chat, nobody watching. It, it's a journey. But if you keep at it, if you remain consistent, it helps if you have a schedule, something that people can depend on you being there. Like you guys depend on me to be live for sure on Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays. Having a schedule helps because people know when you're going to be live next. Just stream. Stream regardless. Doesn't matter if no one's there. Doesn't matter. I mean, just stream. Be live. You know, have content out there. You know. You, you link your Twitch account to your Discord. And for that, I recommend getting StreamCord bot. 
and then you have to go into you have to go to their website into their dashboard select the server you want add not live notification and all you have to do is add your twitch to it and um, select what channel you want your stream to be posted in I actually I was helping um, someone set that up in their server yesterday so I already have screenshots really pushing the limit there I could I could put those in the chat later stream cord is the best that and ping cord I use to uh, whenever my premieres go live yeah, stream cord and ping cord are the best, in my opinion. Of course, Amanda. The Chaos Knight of the CMV is a servant to the realm and its people. Nothing is beneath him. That's a quote from Wonder Woman in Flashpoint. For anybody that may know that reference. I just changed a little bit of the wordings. It's having chopping the hell out of Fabian Eichner. I'm known as Giovanni Vinci. Right to the kidneys from behind. Ring Genero does not look amused. He's talking to Baron right now. <laughs> Probably saying this is not our best. One is German, one is Italian, and one is Austrian. A true international tag team. Ooh, Fabian Eichner caught Trent Seven. Delivered a power slam. That made the ring general very happy. Two and a half count though. What I'm seeing right now. No one can. Maybe an Eichner catches Tyler Bate. Oh! oh my gosh. But Tyler Bate is not the legal man. I think I think Alexander Wolf is German, I think. For the win. He keeps his team in the match. I'm gonna Google real quick. I'm, yeah, he's German. Right on the arm. Let him have this well, technically two Germans. Moment. Alexander Wolf's not actually a member anymore, though. He's not even in WWE at this point. I didn't know until 2K22. Even when the roster was revealed for this game, I was like, what the fuck is... Oh, shit. Mustache Mountain with the victory. Well, this match is going to be repeated next week. Well, Baron just has to do more work. That's all. It is a beautiful thing to witness, gentlemen. Oh, no, not rematch now. Next week, next week. Even though I'm used to booing Imperium. <laughs> yeah. The roles have reversed here. All right, coming up next. Deona Baker. Picking on Mickey James. I'm only not booing because of Baron. I know. <laughs> it's all good. Baron has these little pet projects.
Um, we could uh, we could run one more after this. So then that means Carnage will have three bonus matches if we if we run one more. Making her way to the ring from New York. The line between WWE and CMV. If you listen to After the Bell this week, you know this is a match I've wanted to see for quite some time, and it's almost time to start. A competitor who is always laser focused on the competition. I expect big things from her tonight. I mean, Diona's a multiple time women's champion. AEW, NWA. Roman will forever be booed in both. <laughs> I don't acknowledge him. I acknowledge that he's a pain in the ass. Multi-time champion Mickey James. And Good to see Rick Mickey Virginia, here again in the CMV. Mickey James, a six-time champion. Mickey James, uh, also a talented country singer. Mickey James, talented in the ring, talented behind the microphone. Byron, one of these days you'll find something you're good at in life. Maybe not. Jessica Havoc and Retro's in our live now. I'll be rating out to those two. Yeah, or one of, well, obviously one of them. But all that hype, an opportunity to show I meant to say either of them. Such a, buzz. a win here could do just that. And with Mickey James, you have a seasoned veteran who is still just Great start as there for Deona Baker. Came the WWE. Possibly Means in better. control of Mickey right. James' Mickey hardcore James country. You've still got it. When she never lost it. Yona Baker she wearing the colors of the CMV. Tonight. Love it. And it's only been one week since I found out Alberto Barrett and Deona Baker are a thing. Maggie's attack gets reversed. WWE definitely will not acknowledge me. Oh, she hit the corner hard. She's I'm playing their Connecting with a sharp elbow. I'm playing their game and they won't Mickey even acknowledge me. What exactly does James need to do uh, we're not to rating succeed. the bump. Often lets her get the better of her. Really when not even the bump will acknowledge me. Those emotions in Up high. Big miss right there. Nice miss there by Mickey James. Deona Baker was protected by the Matrix, but Mickey James is right back on the attack. Flatliner. A smack. Yona Baker's in trouble. She's getting rocked. Well Yona caught Mickey. I just wanted to mention them because it's funny. Ooh, yeah, thanks for getting the raid point. emotes ready too. She's going up. Top rope here. From the top. I'll probably be live again with Minecraft shortly after the stream though. Cloud and Darth are in Minecraft. And I kind of want to capture some more moments. And she's not done yet. Still no end in sight here. She's got the whole WWE universe rallying. Oh, what up, Mick Chick from behind? Mickey did not catch everything, but it was well delivered. Deona Baker with the counter. Thanks for the hydrate, Kiki. Alabama slam there by Deona Baker. Stop right to the belly. Big splash. Fiona staying hungry. She's going for it. Picking apart Mickey James here. She's able to utilize the ropes and force Mickey the break. gets to the ropes. Smart. She knew where she was. 
And with all wherewithal, that the squared circle is very important. Have you ever seen a human being tossed like that? She's taking a beating here. Not a bad place. Can do retro Zen today. If you, yeah, I think retro. Dominator there by Diona Baker. Scooping up Mickey for a running power slam to follow up into the cover. Her feet was nowhere near the ropes. That's bullshit. What's she waiting for? She's looking more focused on gesturing rather than winning. The way Deona Baker is in control. Ooh, tossing man, Mickey man. around. Mickey James is being taken apart here. Yeah, James needs to reconsider her strength. Mickey fighting and back. Scouting what could have been that pile driver DDT. Oh my god, not this. Please, not this. Okay, cool. Whew, that was close. Mickey was caught in the time matrix. Uh -oh. Now a DDT. Oh, DDT. Mickey might have just finished this. Now I was gonna say you call for a rope break, a or I'm calling bullshit on the ref. I was like, not a glitch. Growing up, this great this. match between oh. these two. Things are getting risky. These two workhorses in well. wrestling. Oh, what a back oh, suplex a on the apron. Tap 2K glitch. You gotta love it. I wonder if uh, other 2K games like NBA suffered the same fate at times. I'm curious. And for some reason, she looks or US, UFC. I may actually the download the UFC game the since the, since the merger. It's kind of there. piqued my interest. Beautiful suplex. But like everything, there's space. Storage space, always an issue. Sliding back into the action. So take things into the ring. USC game, yeah, for sure. The merger has me invested. Not even a one count for Mickey. This late in the match, and Diona is surviving. I wonder for how much longer. Oh, Diona caught her with a Judas. Now the DDT, there it is. Fiona has this one done. I know Ronda Rousey is in the game. Oh shit, man, we're never getting away from Ronda. Fiona with a big time win. Over Mickey James. Here is your winner, Dashing. Victory is one for the record books. This is what it's all about. All the hard work, all the training. It's all for achieving big victories like this one. All right, do we have four bonus matches for Carnage or do one more for tonight? That was a good match. Yeah, okay, that's fair enough, Amanda. I actually don't have any problems with Ronda. <laughs> One more today? All right, so next up will be Terry Jackson versus Randy Savage. Whoa, what? Oh, he's in the M? That, wow, okay. That threw me off. <laughs> She would be my favorite in the game of the real wrestlers, but I will beat Ronnie in the game. Well, of course. Alright, let's go Terry. With all due respect and love to Randy Savage. Yeah, M, not R. It's so weird. But I get it. Yeah, sometimes, sometimes the rock is in the R's or the T's. Same thing with the Miz. You know, it's <laughs> way, way.
It's weird getting their nickname as their name. Yeah. That's what throws me off. Like, I don't know how to feel about The Miz, The Rock. The I feel like it's weird it's that four, The Rock is in the R, or The Miz Making is in M, but it also makes sense. Representing the crew from Des Moines, Iowa. Weighing in at but then whenever they're in the T's, it feels pounds. weird. <laughs> I don't know. You are looking at some There's no win. motivated competitors in this match, looking to steal the show and capture the attention of the entire WWE oh. universe. He's in perhaps the best physical condition of his life. He knows what it takes to reach the top here in WWE. Let me hear well, shit, what? I thought something happened to the stream. Oh, uh, bread is live. Oh, damn. Maybe we raid the Brit. Laying in at 239 pounds. Macho Man. I'll be live shortly after. I'm most likely going to be streaming more Minecraft. Every time he enters the ring with his Cloud and Darth are on. Agility, often imitated, never duplicated. <laughs> the tower of power, too sweet to be sour, funky like a monkey. Oh yeah. Ooh, oh yeah. yeah. Yes, I thought you couldn't be any more embarrassing, Saxton. You even outdid yourself. Oh my goodness. The Macho Man is here in the CMV. All right, Amanda, that's fair. A lot of the times I just stream to record, you know. So I'm always appreciative if someone is there lurking or watching, you know. But if nobody's there, that's fine too, because like I said, all this gets posted to YouTube within a week or two, so. It's all cash money for me. And we know it Glad I can do this Macho stuff. Man. That's all. But will he be able to conserve his energy and dig down if this fight goes into the deep water? Yeah, exactly. Premier. Harry Jackson on a roll, and it makes sense. He is a worldwide wrestling champion. Defeated the Ultimate Warrior recently. Almost put away Randy Savage right there. Goodness. But effective. Getting tossed. Heads out of the ring, but needs to be mindful of the referee's count here. He's defeated Adam Page, Samoa Joe, Cesaro. Driver on its so many great wrestlers oh, man, over his championship reign. This is his first oh, time man, facing slam. Randy That's Savage. Harry Jackson looking to become the new Macho Man. Macho He's Man inverted now. DDT. Ooh, oh, what a punch. One punch man. Referee is at five. Big time knee rocks Ooh, great a reversal there by Terry. There is a premiere tonight as well, as always, at 5. Hope to see y'all there. I know content is picking up, though, for sure, and a lot more streams. And Savage's Good. Speed approach was slowed down with that move. Down on the 
We're always able to, always trying to do what we're able to do. Trying to get a group together whenever I'm able to. He's far from finished. Off the Definitely pick him back up on Minecraft for sure. Hopefully Fortnite will return if I can get a string going for that. Last time I tried was utter failure. But there are always clips. I have a lot of clips I need to go through, sort out, and go from there. I do have a couple fun clips in store very soon. Pile driver on its way. Sit out, pile driver. So, pile driver by Randy Savage. Man, what a right. Elbow drop right on point. Now he's been put on the defensive. His shoulders are down. Only a one count before the kick out. Staying in this one. Taken down with a body slam. Sky's the limit and space is the place. Randy's right on target. Savage with the bottom. Oh, I rank dirty play Impressive there by the macho man. Savage. Savage Anything to do to win. You gotta understand that. To find any what any of us would offense. do, really. Terry Jackson, no better. Avoiding contact. Randy Savage, Randy Savage still getting the upper hand there on Terry, and Randy's moving to the top turnbuckle. Oh, he's ready to deliver it. Terry Jackson moved out of the way. Now Terry looking to finalize business here. Randy Savage fighting free. Macho man. Oh, Terry Jackson caught the macho man. Thank you, Amanda. That makes me happy. I'm glad people enjoy this. Forces the shoulder. Terry Jackson nearly putting run. away Randy Savage. I almost said Randy Jackson. Can he do it here? Oh, Terry. Oh, Randy Savage. Into the roll up. Only a one count. Randy Jackson. This match is brutality starting to show on him. At this stage of the match, and watch as I almost say Terry Savage. Of this back and forth. Terry Jackson now with the Dominator into the cover. It's got to be it. And it is. I, I totally would do that too. Trust me. I would absolutely mix the names together. For him here. Terry with the a big man, victory over the Macho like Man. Meat snack. Oh, you're making me hungry. Stop making me hungry. Not the video game making me hungry. I can never get away from things trying to get me hungry. Terry Savage, Randy Jackson. Just a composite of humanity. That concludes... Chaotic Multiverse Wrestling Havoc Carnage Unleashed. I've been your host, Chaos Knight. Thank you very much for being here. Hopefully you all enjoyed the show. We'll see you all next time when we are live. Probably be Minecraft in a few, like, maybe I'd say a half an hour tops. Um, and premiere later tonight, as per usual. And uh, we're going to go raid. Who are we raiding, by the way? I already forgot. Mm -hmm. Are we raiding? Let's raid Brett. Oh, man. It's always difficult to pick.
So this is Chaos Knight signing out for now.